I've been fortunate to get to know Harry pretty well because I've written a couple of books about the St. Louis Hawks. But uh, I know something for sure, Harry, tonight. We're enlightening a lot of people out there who are saying, did I see him play? Well, I don't think so because I wasn't born yet when you were be began. But uh, it's been a long time ago, 10 seasons with the Knicks. And tell us a, a little bit about that and the Iron Man record that you set. Well, you know, I'm a pioneer in the NBA. Uh, I started in 1948. Uh, we didn't even have any black players in the league at that time. Can you imagine that? <laughs> the way things are now. But uh, those 10 seasons with the Knicks were some of the greatest times of my life. Uh, I really like, you know, the game. I practice so much. I can't tell you how much. You really never missed a practice? Uh, no. Uh, I never missed a practice in, uh, let's see, junior high or a game, and in high school, or a game, in college, or a game, and every season and every practice in 10 years with the Knicks. Folks, 682 consecutive games. <laughs> now, you're a first All-Pro for one season, and uh, who was the toughest opponent you had on the floor in your day? Well, of course, Bill Russell. Uh, we called him the Occupus because you start to shoot a shot about the hit of the key. I don't understand how he could get up there and do that, but he could. A left-handed and an Occupus, he was only about 6'10", but he played like 7'2", believe me. He's the best defensive player that I've ever played against, and I think is I've ever played basketball. What was your, your greatest moment in pro basketball? Well, I think uh, being elected to the Hall of Fame, uh, it was something I didn't expect. Uh, I played against an awful lot of the greatest in the game, and uh, I just didn't think probably uh, it was an honor that I would ever get, but uh, looking at some of the stats that players put up today, you know, probably not, but uh, I appreciated uh, everything that, that the honor bestowed. Last really quick question. You coached the Hawks for a year. What was that like? Well, it was, two years. it was great. I mean, after all, if you have Bob Pettit, Cliff Hagan, Lenny Wilkins, you know, most coaches like good players, and good players make great coaches. You know that for sure, right? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. he was the NBA Coach of the Year in 1961-62, and tonight we induct him into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Harry Gallatin. <laughs>